All right, so these are the stats that I died on my hardcore Iron Man with. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to be quitting this account. I'm going to be starting a regular Iron Man series, uh, continuing it, because I did put a ton of work into it, and I don't want all that to just go away. So, yeah, I'm going to make a regular Iron Man series. I think I'm going to go with the same theme, just uh, try to get a 1 billion GP bank, which I know I didn't mention too much, but that was the goal of my hardcore Iron Man, so I'm going to make that like, continue with that goal. And it'll be a lot better on a regular Iron Man because I have like no limitations now, so I can go for all the big items, you know. Um, so that'll be a lot of fun. Videos-wise, I'm not sure exactly how often I'm going to be uploading. I'm going to prioritize my new hardcore Iron Man. So I'm going to try to probably try to aim for once a week, maybe 10 days, maybe a little shorter, depending on um, how things go. But yeah, I'm definitely not going to be quitting this account. Uh, this account's going to be a lot of fun. Like I said, the uploads are going to be a little less often, but that's okay. Um, but anyways, guys, let's get into the first episode of my regular Iron Man series. Hope you guys enjoy. All right, so I didn't pick up my stuff after I died the other night. I just uh, <laughs> was pretty upset, so I just logged off. I didn't lose too much. I did lose my green crossbow, but luckily I have another one that I can make because um, I'm going to go kill some wyverns for a while, uh, AFK range it for a bit, see what I can get, maybe a visage or something. All right, so I'm here at wyverns. Like I said, I'm going to stay here for a while, starting out at 78 ranged. Um, also, I made 13k bolts for this, so I might just stay here until all my bolts run out, which... Could be a really long time, but yeah, there's my gear. Pretty good. Got the Robin. Can show that off. Wyverns are perfect, because I don't really feel like playing right now, but this way I can AFK Wyverns. They're super AFK. I can AFK these and get some really nice drops that are really help the account, like Pure Essence and uh, Battle Staff, uh, Battle Staffs, and then like uh, Gems and Adamant Bolt, stuff like that. That'll be really useful. Hey, I totally forgot about the Dragon Plate Leg uh, and Plate Skirt drops, so that's, that's really nice. First pair of Dragon Plate Legs. Don't have these on the account. Um, yeah, so I can use these on training Slayer, so that is super nice. Also, I have an Elite Clue Scrolls you see there. I think that's that's pretty dang rare, so two pretty rare drops, and I'm just starting, so yeah, not bad at all. Just about to hit 80 ranged already. Yeah, there we go, 80 ranged. Uh, pretty cool level to hit. I think I must have lost that clip where I got 79, but no big deal. It's not important or anything. 80 is pretty cool to hit. Um, yeah, inventory. You're looking nicer now, but yeah, there is 80 ranged. This is going to be another range level coming in here, I think. Yeah, 81 ranged. Yeah, so I was going to hunt red, or, uh, yeah, red chins for range levels, but now that I'm not, you know, playing for high scores or anything, screw that. I might do that later, but I'm just going to train range on things like wyverns. Just missed the level here, but I wasn't expecting to get a hit points level. There is 88 hit points. All right, and this is going to be the last range level I'm going to be getting at wyverns. I'm Pretty close to being out of bolts, but this should be 82 ranged. Pretty nice. I started at 78, so I got four levels from uh, this Wyvern trip. Uh, two pairs of D-legs now and a D-skirt as well. All right, so I've been here for like three days. I'm finally out of bolts. Uh, I just want to give a quick shout-out to the Wyvern CC. If you don't know what this is, if you're ranging, I, I highly recommend joining the Wyvern CC because you can use it to ask people if there are worlds open because uh, it's really packed here, so it's always nice to be able to ask people if there's a, world, a spot open in their world. Also, you can sell bones to runners for like half price or something. You can sell grindy Raynars and prayer pots, as you know, you get them unnoted. Like that guy, two prayer pots, World 309 door. Also, you can buy um, ranging potions from those guys. But yeah, there here is the inventory. Looking pretty dang good. Three dragon legs. Oh uh, man, 63 Raynar seeds. Over 5,000 iron ore. I'm going to use that to make cannonballs, I think. Uh, 12,000 pure essence. This is price checker. Gets, I started out with like 170k for some reason. Um, but yeah, there is t there 12.2 mil. That's pretty dang good for AFK and Wyverns for a few days. Granted, I did play quite a bit. But yeah, it's 13k bolts worth, so... If you bring that many bolts, you can kind of expect something like this. Pretty, like, amazing things for Iron Man, though. Empowered orbs. So, like I said, Rainar seeds. Magic logs, rubies, diamonds. Adamant bolts, which I can make into uh, ruby bolts or diamond bolts. So that's very nice. Look at all those wall runes. Uh, Addy bars. Almost two million cash and elks. So, yeah. Really glad I did this. I'll probably do this again in the future. Um... Once I go to the bank, I'll check how many I killed to work out how much GP I got per kill. But yeah, 12.2 mil, not bad at all. Four range levels also. Nice. 
Alright, so I started with just about 50 wyvern kills and now I'm over a thousand. So I did over a thousand wyvern kills that trip, which is really nice. Let's try to like see how much I got per kill. Looking back on this, I don't know why I put um, 12.7 mil when it was actually like 12.2, but that wouldn't change the outcome too much, just a little bit. But yeah, about 12k per kill, which is pretty dang good. I didn't think they were that good anymore after, you know, the prices went down and like rain RCs and stuff, but 12k a kill is really dang good. Um, that's for an Iron Man. If you were, uh, if you weren't an Iron Man and you sold all your bones and your prayer pots and Rainars, probably estimate, not 4,000, maybe 3,000 extra per kill. So maybe you could look at 15k per kill if you're not an Iron Man and maybe like 12k if you are. But yeah, that's still really, really good. Plus there's that chance of that visage. So I'm definitely going to do more of that in the future. All right. So like I said earlier, I want to make all those iron ore into cannonballs. So I need a bunch of coal and instead of buying them or mining them, I think I'm just going to uh, get some coal from the miscellanea here, and I know it's probably a waste to not do all on herbs, but I don't really care. Uh, the cannonballs are really nice, and I'm going to be doing a lot of AFK on this account now that I am going to be starting a new hardcore Iron Man as well as playing this account. So yeah, there's 3,800 coal. I still need over a thousand more, but yeah, that'll be like over 20k cannonballs eventually when I'm done with that, because cannonballs is super AFK, so it'll help me with Slayer, and it'll be something to do while I'm playing on my new hardcore Iron Man. But yeah, that's not bad at all. It's like probably like maybe two weeks or uh, maybe like 10 days. And there is 80 woodcutting. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of woodcutting in the future, which I know it's like kind of boring, but it's great AFK, obviously, when I play many hardcore. But also I need to get my fletching level up to 85 anyway, so I can use those magic logs that I've been collecting from wyverns. I'm going to be doing a lot more wyverns in the future, so I'll be getting a lot more magic logs. So this will be this is great for working towards 85 fletching. Obviously, it's very good money too for fletching the U longbows, and it will be even better for magic longbows. Yeah, and I also forgot to mention that I did get that dragon axe um, in my last video when I died, but it was kind of overshadowed by my death. So um, yeah, I did get the dragon axe, so that'll be very nice to use in the future, and I mean right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, and there is 81 wood cutting as well. I'm actually going to get a runecrafting level from this uh, school random event. So yeah, there's 54 runecrafting. Can do law runes now. Don't know if I ever will. But yeah, I really need to get up to 59 runecrafting soon so I can do double cosmics. But yeah, there's 54 runecrafting. Alright, since I got 68 construction last episode, I think I'm going to try to build a gilded altar. Hopefully I have enough money. I need two marble blocks and four gold leaves. Uh, yeah, I think, yeah, just enough money. No, oh, barely anything left. I'll need to make more money before I um, can do stuff to my house other than the Gilded Altar. But yeah, there's the supplies for the Gilded Altar. Now I just need a plus four or a plus five boost. Plus the Crystal Saw. <laughs> wow, so when I was boosting for my glory, I got my plus five crafting boost on my first try. Now I'm boosting for this. I got my plus five construction boost on my first try. That's some crazy luck right there. But if, if any of you guys are trying to boost... Um, to do something just drink like an attack potion or something like as you can see from the top left of my screen it shows me how long my boost is going to last like that works your attack boost that, that works for the same as construction so i lose my construction boost in 23 seconds but yeah there is the gilded altar achieved that is pretty sick for an iron man account this early on i have a bunch of bones so i can use those now but yeah like i said you want to drink um the attack potion and then make sure you don't drink your stew until you have like 50 some seconds left on your boost because it could run out in like five seconds if you were to drink it like right now but yeah gilded altar achieved so i scraped enough money out of the bank so i could go ahead and build the lowest level pool uh, that's the only pool i can build right now it's still pretty good it restores your spec energy so that's still really good at first i thought i could do the the level 70 pool as well um because i don't need to crystal saw boost for that but i obviously can't make staminas yet until I'm level 77 herb lore, so can't do that for a while, but that's alright. Uh, I also need to finish Lunar's Quest to finish my house the way I want to, so I can build portals like the Anna Carol, Waterbirth Island, Lunar Isle, um, just portals like that, and then my house should be good for a while. Alright, so I need upwards of 9,000 U-logs. I need to cut them and string them to get me to 85 fletching, roughly. And um, I pretty much almost have all the flax. I have over 5,000 U-logs right now. So I'm going to start fletching a few of these and making a few longbows because I, I'm pretty short on cash and I do need some cash so I can buy my uh, daily battle staves today. First fletching level coming in here is 80 fletching. 
We can now uh, make magic short bows, which I do not need, but yeah, there's 80 fletching. And this is going to be 81 fletching, uh, four levels away until I can make the magic long bows. Oh, and also 1,725 total level. Nice. Just elking a few of these long bows, and that is going to be 76 magic. Uh, I should really start going for 80 magic harder because uh, then I can do blood blitz, and that would be really nice for things like Dagonos. As now I have every reason to go back to Dagonos, especially for that Zerker ring. So, yeah, but anyways, there is 76 magic. Here is yet another woodcutting level. Uh, there is 82 woodcutting. As you can probably tell, I've been putting a ton of AFK time into uh, woodcutting use lately. I've been really going hard on my hardcore Iron Man uh, lately. Really trying to get an episode out because I did get pushed back. I did actually die again, but you'll learn about that in my other video. But yeah, there's another woodcutting level. There's 83 woodcutting. So yeah, I've gotten four woodcutting levels in this episode. And as you, as you know, it doesn't. It's not it's like you don't get levels fast by woodcutting use. So yeah, I've been putting a ton of time into this. But yeah, there is 83 woodcutting. Quick little farming level here. There's 69 farming. Just farming all these rainer seeds that I got from uh, wyverns. But yeah, there is 16 farming. All right, so like I mentioned earlier, I have every reason to go back to Dagonos now that I have died. But like, you know, I don't need a ring of life anymore. So definitely a Zerker. Archers would be nice. Seers would be nice. I'm going to go for a Zerker now. I still have 29 left on the task that I died from. I still haven't done any Slayers since then. So I'm going to go safe spot some Rex with my friend Johnny D. Um, and yeah, hopefully I get lucky. All right, so we finally found a world. Got a spot. First Rex kill coming in here, um, and we should hit a zero. Okay. Huh. Uh, there we go. For the uncut sapphire. Yeah. Hey, another dragon axe. I already have one of these, but uh. Dragon Axe on Rex KC2. That's pretty cool, I guess. Um, same drop rate as the ring, so that's a little unfortunate, but uh, I can't complain about a drop. So, yeah. Another Dragon Axe. Nice. Alright, so this is going to be the last kill of my Slayer task. And unfortunately, we didn't get any drops. But that's alright. I'm going to stay here until, the, uh, until my trip's over. I've barely been using any supplies, which is... Pretty surprising. I'm probably gonna run out of anti uh, anti poisons first. I, I have gotten a fair bit of food drops though, so that's probably the main reason why. Rock shell plate body. Don't know if that's actually used for anything, but I'm pretty sure it's one of the troll drops, so it's probably decently rare. But whatever. I'm, I mean, only 29 KC, so can't complain. All right, and this is going to be the last kill of the trip. See, yep, no rings or anything, that's alright though, only 40 KC, I uh, can't really expect anything yet, but 40 kills in one trip, it's, it's pretty impressive, I, it's way more than I thought, I was thinking kind of like 20 to be honest, I did get a bunch of food drops, so maybe 40 is a little unrealistic, but yeah, I'm going to keep working towards this Berserker ring, you don't really need to be on task to save spot Rex, so yeah, like I said, I did die, so Berserker ring is the... Now home new most important item since I don't need the ring of life, so I'm gonna definitely keep working towards this. It's the loot that I got from that trip. 40 kills, it's, it's pretty crummy, but uh can't complain yet, only 40 KC. Alright, I'm going to wrap up the video here. To get a lot of nice gains this episode. Did get the gilded altar, which is very awesome to get on an Iron Man account. Uh these this is the, the stats right now. I am currently at 1726 total, so we did get a lot of level gains. Camped Wyverns for a while, I uh, got some range gains and a bunch of items onto the account like the Dragon Plate Legs and Plate Skirt. I know a regular Iron Man might not be as exciting to you as a hardcore Iron Man for some of you, but for me, I'm really looking forward to this series now, this account. It's going to be a lot of fun, going to do a lot of high level bossing soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this first episode and I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.